Early in the season. Um, it was definitely a big help. Um, you know, just standing in the training room with our trainer, Chris Williams. You know, he, you know, stayed up there with me and I didn't leave me up there by myself to, you know, do, you know, ice it by myself. So it was it was big to, you know, sit out a little bit and, you know, just rest it and it helped me, you know, come ready to play. Uh, I'm getting there, man. I'm getting there. Okay, let's move to the left. On the front row. Uh, Tommy, I guess uh, Carlos Silva from the Lubbock Avalanche Journal. Tommy, in terms of uh, the aggressiveness you guys had with getting to the basket, I guess uh, you had a couple of passes to Zaire. I guess what did you see there, and how much did that help you all, just getting more aggressive, just kind of spreading out the floor a little bit for you all? Man, Zaire is one of my favorite targets, man. I love when he, when he goes back door and we, and we make those kind of plays happen. And, you know, we came out with a game plan. We wanted to, to attack them, and, and that's what we followed through with. Keenan, and then just for you, uh, in terms of when you guys were – only up one. What did coach kind of tell you in terms of the the the, uh, the huddles after that timeout? And I guess what what did y'all do kind of differently that helped y'all kind of get there? He just questioned us and told asked us, um, you know, do we want to win? We we were in the same position last year. Like, what are we gonna do? This is your senior year. You haven't won in the Big Twelve tournament, so you know, y'all gonna sit down and get stops and rebound. You know, we we did it. Okay, you're on the right in the middle. Austin Watts with the Daily Torridor. Um, Keenan, what would you see from uh, Jarrett in those first like couple minutes where he just was all over the place? He had seven points and six rebounds in that. He was doing it all. Um, he was doing everything we needed him to do and more. Um, we looked for him to make big shots, and that's what he did. And we looked for him to rebound down while you know Tommy and Norris are you know, getting good box out on the uh, Sims. They're big. So you know, he did everything we needed him to do. Okay, on the inside aisle. Uh, Kirk Bowles from the Austin American Statesman. Keenan, what's going through your mind when you see Texas start off so cold? They're three for 16 and like 0 for 9 from three. So the attempt to just to let them keep shooting from so far out? Um, no, we wanted to, we didn't want to give them, you know, just horse shots. So we just wanted to contest all of them and finish with rebounds. We also wanted to convert uh, on the other, on the offensive end while, you know, they weren't making shots. And we knew that they weren't going to shoot like that all night. So we were just kind of trying to take advantage while we could. Let's go in the back. Uh, this is for Keenan. Keenan, uh, Greg Eklund, this is for AP Broadcast. Coach talked about uh, putting this team in a better position than a year ago when you were at this tournament. How would you sum up the uh, confidence level of this team to possibly win this tournament? Uh, high, high confidence. Um, you know, we got everybody back. We're getting healthier about a day. So we all know what we can do and what we're capable of. And we're just trying to play together, play for one another. And we know that this is our last go around, you know. So we just try to you know, make, trying to make the most of it. Okay, we'll move back to the front here on the left. Carlos from the Avalanche Journal again. Uh, for Tommy and Keenan, uh, Tommy first, I guess. Uh, when uh, Zaire made that kind of LeBron play, as he likes to call it, how much of a swing was that for you all, just momentum-wise, just kind of seeing you guys show effort? And then it seemed like everyone else really kind of kicked it up on defense. Total, yeah. That's one thing we practice on. You know, I don't know if you saw me, but I was sprinting back too. <laughs> you were? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's something that we get from Z all the time. That's something that makes him special and something that he's bought into. And that's what separates him from, you know, most, most of the other freshmen in this country. I guess uh, Keenan, did, did you see him running? And I guess uh, what was that like when you did kind of see Zaire make that play and you had the, the layup afterward? Uh, it's, 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 it's great. Um, you know, I remember when he first got here in the summer and he was making those, play, those plays. So that's what we expect of him. You know, Jared got ahead and kind of slowed him down for Z. And, you know, he made that play. And it just, you know, gets us going, energizes the bench, energizes everybody on the court, and, you know, kind of stopped them from uh, make, going on that run that they were on. Last question, I guess, for both of you all. Uh, Keenan, if you want to start. Uh, just kind of looking back on it, just getting this first win in the conference tournament, what does it mean to you all just as seniors, as Coach said, he was challenging you to win this game? Uh, I guess what's it like just to know that you were able to kind of meet that challenge that he gave you? Uh, it feels good, but it's still a long road. Um, we got another one tomorrow, so we got to, you know, not get too high, not too low, and just move on to the next one. I'm just happy to be here with a part, a part of this with these guys, man. You know, um, my career went and never really, you know, meant that much to me, but, you know, it's kind of, kind of hard to deny it being around them and being in the locker room with them is just, it, it's fun. Closing questions now for our student-athletes here on the right front. 
Hi, it's Tim Griffin again with Cox Media Group. Uh, obviously, Young went off for a lot of the, the game. Uh, what did you guys do to stop him the last couple of three minutes because he didn't score against you after he hit, I guess, a really big hoop? Uh, during the timeout, coach was like, you know, who, who's going to step, step up and take that challenge? And I told him I would. So I was trying to get on him and my room and make, him, make it as tough for him as I could. So we were just trying to make it as hard for him and stop him from being the hot guy. Thank <laughs> you.